What we have here is a very special piece of military equipment and this was used um, many years ago by the night watchman in St Mary's churchyard and the, and the reason it was used was to stop the body snatchers who used to come down from Edinburgh Medical School and University and who could claim quite a premium for a fresh body. Uh, it was to stop them coming down and, and digging up freshly buried bodies and then selling to them to the medical academies in, in, in Scotland. And um, uh, Mr Hudson, who I know was your, one of your ancestors, and we're delighted to have you here to be able to share this moment with you. He was the, one of the men who used to sit there all night in the little stone building which is still there in St Mary's churchyard yes. and he was the one who used to wield this weapon and protect the graves. Mr so Hudson, could you just tell us a little bit about uh, what you know f through your family over the years about this, uh, this gun? Well, um, it's very much a verbal history um, of stories told down the generations and um, the story that I have from my late father um, was that as a child he used to play with this gun, uh, it was kept in a cupboard out of the way and it was the story was that the grandfather up the way was um, protecting the, the, the graves from body snatchers which as a child it was a fascinating little <laughs> story of all oh, body snatchers and everything like that. Um, now the story was that um, my grandfather, who had it, who died in um, the very early 1950s, um, after he died, my grandmother was clearing things out, and the, this was in the, the cupboard, so the story goes. Um, so they contacted um, where it had come from originally, yeah. Morpeth, and um, it was presented to. Uh, as I understand it, the town council, whatever name it was in those in that era, um, and other than a story mm -hmm. and a few photographs in a in a press cutting which I have, I think from the time which I'm going to try and dig out and yeah. sort of do a copy of, um, was that it goes back mm -hmm. several generations of the oh, yes. of the Hudson, indeed, um, and my grandfather was mm -hmm. actually called John Hudson, uh, his father was a John Hudson. Mm -hmm. His father was an Edward, mm -hmm. and his father, who yeah. had the gun, uh, was mm -hmm. born in 1799 mm -hmm. uh, in Morpeth, and uh, uh, lived till the early 70s. Mm -hmm. um, but the stories were that he, he was the person who mm -hmm. would guard the graves at St Mary's mm -hmm. and had this and passed it down the generations. And had, had you ever seen the gun before today? Oh, no, only a photograph and knew that it's, it went somewhere to Morpeth. So whoever the powers that be in Morpeth had this. Mm -hmm. And this is today, this is the first time when I mentioned it at the door there that the, the lady said, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's in the, the, little, <laughs> the little room there. So.